Hello, I'm Jim Lukashevsky, and I'm going to take you through the very interesting course, uh, one of my favorite courses, because it's about you. It's about becoming a trusted strategic advisor. It's about it's something that, that many staff individuals, most staff people probably, aspire to accomplish, but there's just really sort of no school for this sort of thing. And uh, many years ago, I began observing, because of my practice uh, in helping management through crisis situations, observing uh, a whole variety of different kinds of uh, individuals who help senior executives. And I began to sort of catalog the kinds of things that make these people successful, that make them listen to, that to those that have impact, those who are memorable. And that's what I want to talk about in this series. I'm going to answer the kinds of questions that most of us have about, you know, how do I have more influence, those sorts of things. But the course itself is divided into four parts. The first one is on about leaders and leadership, how they think and operate. This is extremely important and not talked about much. The second part is a, really a question for you. Do you really have what it takes to become a trusted strategic advisor? In my experience, this is an activity that is really not for everyone. And I want to walk through it with you very thoroughly from your perspective so you understand what it means to be able to achieve this circumstance. And then the remaining two parts of the course are really about the seven disciplines of the trusted strategic advisor. These are the very specific activities that you have to focus on um, to be of maximum service to the people you advise. So it's an interesting course. I think it's a very helpful course. I think from your perspective, it will help you really learn a lot more about yourself and how to be a much more effective individual generally, as well as in this particular circumstance as being a trusted strategic advisor. Let me just review the seven disciplines so you have a sense of what we're talking about. Okay, The first one is to be trustworthy. Earn the respect and confidence of those you advise. The second is to be a verbal visionary. Recognize that giving advice is an art and a skill that primarily depends on your verbal accomplishments. One of the things you want to talk about there is getting yourself assessed your verbal skills. Leadership is not accomplished with memos. It's not accomplished with books. It's not even accomplished with videos. It's accomplished by what leaders tell others to do. Okay? Um, third, developing a management perspective. Okay? Continuously looking at the world through the manager's or leader's eyes. We'll talk about very important. Thinking strategically. What is a strategic thinker? What is strategic thinking? What is strategy, for that matter? Um, this is the environment in which leaders and managers operate. The fifth one is understanding the power of patterns. This is one of the great secrets of being a successful advisor. Understanding the events, and we'll talk about that. It's very interesting. Six is advising constructively. And what this chapter is about, really has, or this, this discipline is about actually, is, is to help, is to use a systematic process for giving advice, which will really, will really change your life and the way you accomplish things. And finally, the seventh discipline is to show the boss how to use the advice you give. Very sensible thought. When it's all said and done, they have to use it, and you need to teach them how to do that, okay? So, we start in thinking about this with, with assessing, you know, what your level of influence is today. These are questions to ask yourself, okay, about where you are in this business of being influential, okay? It's a very interesting a series of questions, okay? The first question is, do people hold up the start of meetings until you arrive to make certain that your views are shared and available for whatever you talked about? The second question is, do people remember what you say and quote you in other places and venues? Third, do people quote you when you are in the room? Fourth, do people tell your stories and share them and share the lessons as though they belong to them? Uh, a little frustrating and irritating, but, you know, it's a sign of your influence. And the last two questions are these. Do people learn things from you that they acknowledge to you and remark about to others? And finally, do others seek out your opinions and ideas to share their agendas, I'm sorry, share their agendas with their beliefs with you? in the hope of influencing you to influence the behaviors and decisions of others more senior to you. In other words, they want to influence you to influence someone else. Very interesting strategy and dynamic when you are a trusted strategic advisor uh, and moving forward. Okay. So finally, again, a series of questions to ask yourself about going forward. Okay. Why do I want to be heard by my boss? Why do I want to be heard? What do, you know, what do I have to say? Why should the boss be listening to me in the first place, right? Um, what's not working now and why? And these questions are important because as we launch into this course, these are the questions that you're going to be responding to for yourself from your perspective as we talk about the various aspects of being a trusted strategic advisor. Um, there clearly are some risks if you're successful here. 
And one of the risks, for example, might be, you know, you begin to separate yourself from your partners or the people you work with because you have this level of influence that they really don't. Something to think about, you know. Uh, another question I think is, and this will ring throughout the course, are you really ready to be brutally honest with yourself about yourself? Because as you rise higher in the hierarchy and work with people, there is a kind of sense of, uh, of uh, no nonsense at these levels. Um, and you know, they, they really, they, they're not looking for fakers and people who really don't know what they're talking about. So you have to ask yourself this question, you know, can I be you know, brutally honest with myself? Because you may, as you'll see, be largely alone as you do this and accomplish this. Not gonna actually be much help out there for you, except what you get from what we're talking about, for example, today. And you know, can you train yourself to focus on what really matters? How willing are you to change yourself to have more influence? These are serious questions to ask yourself and think about as you go forward in this process of learning how to do this. It is completely learnable, completely achievable, and you can do this, okay? Mm -hmm.